Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and today I have for you week four of my 12 weeks of Christmas series. So let's jump right in. So this one is a bit of a different one for me. I, uh, I try really hard to always include kind of different styles of cards just for inspiration for people who maybe aren't into the super bright colors that I am. Uh, so we're going to go a bit of a different direction with this one. This one. So I am going to make two mini slimline cards. So here I'm just cutting down my bases. I like my mini slimlines to be, uh, the base is six by six and then scored at the three inch mark. So you get a three inch by six inch base. That is my preference. Um, I don't really think that there's exact set measurement to mini slimlines. Um, I make my own envelopes, so I just make whatever size I like, but this just happens to be the size that I, I go to the most for mini slimline. And then see here, I'm going to score it at the three inch mark. And I did score on both sides just because I have a tendency to use a very heavyweight base. So I score on both sides to make it easier to cut my card stock or to crease my card stock. So I am also going to give my, uh, Panel, panels a black shimmery matte uh, I do have to add something that's shiny and you'll see that I, I kind of couldn't help myself at the end of this video there but uh, I'm going to cut down these are just pieces I had left from other projects that I keep aside for stuff like mini slim lines and whatnot and these are cut to an eighth of an inch smaller than my base and then my panels are going to be uh, this is Nina Desert Storm cardstock uh, and that's what I'm going to use for my actual panel with the coloring on it. Um, this is a technique I think that works really well with pretty much any design idea. Um, if you're not really sure what to do, uh, use oxide inks on Nina Desert Storm or any craft card stock. It usually turns out pretty stunning. So I am pretty excited about that. So I did cut my uh, craft card to be uh, like an eighth of an inch smaller than my black mat. So it would be a quarter of an inch smaller than my base. And here I have Tim Holtz's Cozy Winter, I believe is the name of the stamp set. Yeah, Cozy Christmas, sorry. Uh, and I have, I am going to use both images. I'm going to show you this uh, on this one with a little snowman um, because for the second card, I do the exact same techniques. So I have a finger dauber. And I have a few different colors of Distress Oxide ink. I have, uh, this is Rustic Wilderness, and I believe Salvage Patina is next, Antique Linen, Candied Apple, and Vintage Photo. And I just use my finger dauber to color in the areas that I want to have that color. So in this case of this image, I have uh, the Rustic Wilderness for the leaves. And I did bring in a creative corner in my Misty as well, just to, uh, so that my stamp could hang off of the edges. Uh, and then I forgot to put my magnet on it. Here you see that I make sure that it's aligned and put my magnet in it, but I forgot to start. And then I'm just going to use different finger daubers for each color because I don't want to muddy them um, and just daub on the color where I want it. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the salvage patina on the bobble or the, I don't know if it's a bobble or a, it might be an ornament specifically, but I just really wanted a pop of color and I think salvage patina is a great color for that and I am going to kind of have to play around a little bit you're going to see when I bring in vintage photo that I go back over some images to just tone them down a little bit this is candied apple and I'm going to use that specifically on the berries of this image uh, and I used the exact same five colors on the Santa uh, image as well I just, um, I'm not going to show you the process because it's going to be the exact same, but, and then here I brought in vintage photo and to start, I used it, um, on the buttons of the snowman, the hat and the broom. And then I'm going to bring it in after to kind of tone down some of the colors a little bit and add a little bit extra brown, which for me is an oddity because I never use brown, but I am going to in this instance. So the antique linen I was trying to use on the snowman. However, antique linen is difficult to see on craft, which of course makes sense because they're fairly similar in tone. So I, I actually had to go over my antique linen with the vintage photo, but I think it came out really neat. So I went back over with my antique linen and then I brought in vintage photo and just dabbed a little bit on top. And then here you can see it's like kind of a, a double tone effect, which I think looks really neat. Uh, and I I do that in a few different areas with vintage photo like here I'm going to do it on the bobble for a bit of the uh, pieces you couldn't see like the design in the in the ornament or the bobble uh, and then now you can see it but it created this really interesting tone the two colors together so I mean this I don't generally bring brown into my makes that's not a color I tend towards um, but I'm gonna have to use it a bit more because it, it 
it gave me really neat effects here. And here I'm going to hold it up so you can see this image in its whole glory. Like, doesn't that turn out cool? Like, it, and it's just the five colors and they're not, you know, crazy colors. I mean, I generally would do very bright colors. And then here I'm just stamping the inside of my base with whatever ink is left on the stamp. Instead of wasting that ink, I just stamped it down on the, the, uh, the base of my <laughs> card there. And then here I brought in a sentiment and I'm using vintage photo again. And I did put it on directly to the stamp because I wanted it to be a bit brighter, um, a bit more bold because it is the sentiment. And then here I couldn't resist just adding a bit of the vintage photo around the edges. This is just the same dauber I was using for vintage photo. Um, I didn't bring out any extra ink. This is just what's left on the dauber. And then I just kind of went around the edges and kind of went in a little bit further on some of the sides, kind of trying to make it uneven, but kind of adding some color. And you can see the difference here. So one it was without the vintage photo and one's with the vintage photo. And I just, I think with the vintage photo, it looks better. Um, I think it just, I don't know, it just adds a little bit of extra and it was needed because the cards are a bit plain at this point. Um, not that they aren't beautiful and not that you couldn't stop there if that's where you wanted to stop. Absolutely. But I just, I had to add a little bit extra. So I did and I don't stop there because it's me and more is more. So you absolutely could stop here. Um, I'm not going to, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm going to adhere them down to that black shimmer cardstock that I cut down. Um, and then to their bases as well. And I use barely art glue. Uh, you don't need that fine tip for what I'm doing. It's just the tip that's on there and I'm too lazy to switch out the tip every time I go to use the glue. So I just use the fine tip cause it's there, but you don't need that for this and any glue would work. I prefer liquid glue just because I like the time to move the piece of cardstock around. I like the wiggle room time. So, uh, cause I, you know, I eyeball and line up, uh, most of my stuff by a naked eye. So I need time to actually shift the cardstock around a little bit. And then I just wipe off any glue that kind of oozes out behind the image. And then here I just double check what image is inside of the base. I mean, you could of course put them on separate, like each other's. I meant matchy matchy. You don't have to, uh, you could have done the opposite. They would have still been beautiful regardless. Cause it's the same colors. Like these cards can obviously go together. They're just simple. Well, I say simple. I don't know if they're considered simple. I mean, they weren't difficult to make it just, uh, I think they turned out stunning, but they're not quite as involved as some of the cards I've made before. So I guess maybe that's what I mean when I say simple. And then of course, because it's me, I had to add some white splatter. So I used Distress Picket Fence uh, paint. And I also added a little bit of clear, uh, this is Spectrum Noir's clear glitter pen. And I'm just going to mix that in with my white paint and just that adds a little extra shimmer to the background. So here I just grabbed a paintbrush and I just mixed them in together. And then I'm just going to splash them onto the back off of an acrylic block. I just find it, <clears throat> excuse me, use, easier to use an acrylic block to do this than to try to flick them on off of my mat. But you could use your mat too. I mean, there's no wrong way to do. And then I also, because again, <laughs> I can't stop. I had to add some vintage shimmer pearls because I love pearls and because they're pretty and because more is more. And that's how I roll. So here you can see, I'm just gonna add five across the card. I generally like to work corner to corner. I find that it makes a uh, view, visual pattern that I quite enjoy. And you know, the rule of threes and, and uneven numbers and whatnot. So I did aim to have just the five embellishments, five pearls going across the cards there. And then here I'm gonna hold them up so you guys can see them in all of their glory. I think they turned out really pretty. Not my normal bright colors, but I love how these came together. So uh, I guess it goes to show that you need to play with the stuff that you have and you're gonna discover just beautiful ideas. So I really love how these turned out. I know that I'll be using this stamp set again here pretty soon, I'm sure because it is a beautiful stamp set. And I would like to actually bring out some like watercolors and do some different ideas with this stamp set. But I always have so much, so many ideas when I go into the Christmas series. So we'll have to see what comes out first. But there we go, guys. That is the card for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you think of this style that's a bit different than my usual. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Please leave me a like, leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye for now.